Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. I honestly can't believe we're in the last week of November. I feel like this year just flew by. In just a few days, it's going to be December and the last month of this year is over and we'll be stepping into an entire new year. I think um, just giving birth to Avira, her whole phase of, you know, the whole new baby phase, newborn phase and to now when I started her solids, just just everything happened within a blink honestly and I can't believe we're already almost at the end of the year. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Are you ready to go to school today? Yes. Yeah? Are you going to have for breakfast today? Sevilla. Oh, nice. So we're going to be wearing masks today. We're going to school. Okay. Say bye. Bye, Nico. <laughs> bye, everybody. Mm. Now a lot of you already know what my postpartum diet was like. I put out an extremely detailed video for you, uh, step by step, what I had for breakfast, lunch and dinner, what my pan recipe was and all of that. But now it's 8 months and I don't follow the diet anymore. I did that for about 3-4 to four months after having Vian. I think I followed it very strictly for about 5 or 6 months. But with Avira, I was quite lenient with myself. I only did it for like three months or four months and I was completely off of it. And I've been eating everything now. There are absolutely no restrictions. So I thought I should give you all a quick update on what my diet is like throughout the day. So of course, with both the babies, my hands are super full and it's really hard to be able to make all my meals and do the household chores and everything. So I have a really sweet lady who's my cook who helps around with all of the cooking. I do make fresh meals for Vian for lunch and dinner, but most of my meals are already cooked in the day. I just heat them up and have them through the rest of the day. Starting with breakfast, I generally have dosa at least three times a week. It's my absolute favorite. Dosa with uh, maybe uh, iruli uh, chutney or tomato iruli goju or something like that. It's my favorite 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 dish I can have it any time of the day so it's dosa for at least three times a week if not I alternate between shaoge aki roti and stuff like that today my breakfast is shaoge so let me show you what the preparation looks like Are you ready for breakfast? Yeah. So now I'm done with breakfast and it's time for my post-breakfast vitamins, HK Vitals. You know, I've actually spoken a lot about collagen before. Collagen is the most abundant protein found in the body, accounting for almost one third of its protein composition. It's one of the major building blocks of bones, skin, muscles, tendons and ligaments. 
Now, collagen is also found in many other body parts, including blood vessels, corneas, and teeth. Collagen is an important building block for our skin as it makes up 70% of it. And as we age, our existing collagen breaks down and it's harder for our body to produce more. As a result, people turn to collagen supplements. Now, these collagen supplements are usually in a powdered form, although you can find capsules and liquid collagen supplements as well. Now, I've been using the HK Vitals collagen supplements for about a month now and I absolutely love it. So let me quickly talk about why HK Vitals in particular. HK Vitals collagen powder is a marine collagen that contains titogen fish collagen peptides. The key ingredients here are vitamin C, vitamin E and biotin. The flavor is of orange fruit powder. There's absolutely no added sugar. It contains real marine collagen. It's 25 times more effective than collagen builder. There are absolutely no side effects and it comes from the trusted house of HealthCart and it's developed by nutritionists. So some of the benefits of the HK Vitals collagen is that it helps you improve your skin elasticity and firmness, which kind of makes your skin look more youthful. It also helps retain the hydration of the skin. Hyaluronic acid helps reduce wrinkles and thus prevents your skin from aging. Last but not the least, vitamin C, E and biotin keep your skin radiant. I can feel my skin dull and lifeless and see dark spots and wrinkles because of stress. Healthy, glowing and hydrated skin makes me feel lively and confident. Try out the HK Vital Skin Radiance Collagen with vitamin C, E and biotin for your everyday beauty. How was your school today? Nice. Yeah, what activity did you do? Uh, ants. Ants? You did uh, what? I did painting and drawing. Painting and drawing of ants? Okay, okay. Nice, what do you want for mamam now? Cheese. Cheese paratha? Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> so I'm going to quickly go make cheese paratha for Vian and I am having dal, rice and alu palya for my lunch and I've also got karl palya made because Shashank eats karl almost every alternate day. So let me quickly show you how all the preparation for that happens.
Oof, okay, so it's time for dinner now. And I don't know about you, but Bangalore is so cold. I've gotten a purple badne kai palya made for the night. So I'm gonna make some hot chapatis for myself. And uh, because I like chapatis to be nice and soft and hot, if I make them in the morning, then they're gonna be a little hard by the time I eat it in the night. So I make the chapatis myself. I'm gonna quickly go make some hot, soft chapatis for myself and quickly finish up with dinner. Let me quickly show you though how the badne kai palya is made at home. Not very round, but that's completely okay. Okay, so a lot of people don't know this, but Shashank is somebody that has lost almost 10 kgs, close to 10 kgs in like three to six months. And um, I think it's fair to ask him this question. What really is dieting? <laughs> dieting is whatever suits your body is the diet you have to follow. Okay. And if you were to just like generally say what would suit. I know it's <clears throat> for each person. Each person's body is different and mm. a certain diet would suit everybody. If you were mm. to give like a general rule, what would it be? Eat only when you're hungry. Hmm. That is diet. Hmm. Makes sense. Yeah. And also, I feel like observing what his diet was, <clears throat> I kind of noticed that Shashank never gave up on stuff that he liked. Mm -hmm. He always ate anything that he wanted to eat. Made be ice cream, made be brownies, made be any sort of breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But I think the magic behind it was quantifying everything that you ate uh, which really worked wonders so then again when we talk about the term diet i feel like everybody should eat anything that they like to eat as long as you're eating it uh, with a certain right proportion yeah with the right proportion in mind that will kind of help you not gain a lot of um, unnecessary weight i would say so that would be a good way but giving up on stuff you like uh, starving yourself, uh, getting headaches and a tummy burn because you're hungry is not the right way to diet. So please eat everything that you like, probably just small portions of it and uh, they'll work, work out well for you. It will be a long process. It won't, it won't be an overnight diet where you know you just wake up and you're a few kgs down. That's not really how a diet should work. It should take its own sweet time. This is what I'm eating for dinner now. Aren't you hungry too? Mm. <laughs> then go get your dinner. I'll, go, I'll, go now. I'll see you guys soon with another video. Until then, please take care and see you. <laughs>